everyone, it's Jody, and I just thought I'd do a quick little video to show you some of the projects that I worked on during our scrapbook weekend retreat. About 18 of us from my group went, and we just had a great time. Okay, so I had this little image of this cute little girl, antique little girl, and I uh, went to a uh, dollhouse store for miniatures and found these little tiny scissors, cut a slit using my exacto knife and uh, so it would look like she's holding the scissors went on eBay found some antique photographs of families and shrunk them down and the heart on the right side is covered with glass microbeads to add a little texture just made the star backed it with chipboard and uh, used a pen to outline it some for some faux stitching um, pattern paper on the back, also backed with chipboard, used a blanket stitch using some uh, twine, and edged the sign in some fairy dust. Uh, the little flower on the bottom was just made with some sparkly felt. Okay, so my next project is a simple little birthday card. I say simple because uh, the butterfly image was already on the paper, so there wasn't much to do. I put some lace trim on the bottom, uh, edged the butterfly in some mini pearls, added a uh, fabric flower in the corner with a stick pin, and cut out an oval using a Spellbinders die and punched it in the corner. The next birthday card was of a little bird, again using spellbinder dies for the circle. And uh, I had some white felt, made the crown out of that, had some baby buttons that I added, and sewed some beads on her crown. And the little happy birthday is from a Tim Holtz fragment. My next project was a little uh, baby card, and let's see, I used paper from Anna Griffin, some delicate little uh, ribbon trim at the bottom, scallop punch from Martha Stewart. I had a plant marker from the dollar store that I used for the It's a Girl sign, and uh, a little circle. Uh, salutation is from Michaels, as is the safety pin made by Blue Moon. Added some little charms, a little stork, and a boot. That was fun to do. And this uh, tag is also from Spellbinders. I just love their dies. And it can pull out, and I can write my little greeting on the inside there. So that was a fun card to do. My next project was a tag. I made this tag for my dear friend Susan. I was inspired by a tag that I had seen on Pinterest. And uh, I just had a pattern for the little bird. And that's uh, musical notes there to the right of the bird. Lined it uh, uh, at the bottom with some self-adhesive pearls, some fabric tape. Uh, I made the flowers, crinkled them up, and used uh, ultra-thick embossing powder on them. Put some bling on from my stash. Uh, there's some pearl trim, and uh, it was fun to do. This tag uh, will probably going to uh, Susan's sister, Mary. She has a blog of 365 tags. That's her goal this year. And she was asking for some guest designers, so I hope she likes it. Okay, the next project was an all-white layout. Uh, my little sister got married in 1991, and here she is shown dancing with my dad. And uh, the upper left is also a Spellbinders die and corners were punched and these flowers are just a combination of paper flowers, fabric flowers, silk flowers 
added a lot of pearls. That was a fun layout to do. My next layout is um, about my dogs. I have three little dogs. I'm doing an 8x8 album on them, so I wanted something kind of whimsical. And here they're just shown uh, looking out the window like they always do. One, two, three. <laughs> my next layout is a little kid layout. Uh, even though my son Justin is uh, 26, I'm still working on his uh, little kid pages. So uh, I used rub-ons. Uh, I adhered the photo onto just white cardstock, put the rub-ons on top. Uh, various brads, and these were by Making Memories, I think. They are uh, like rubbery brads. I'd never seen anything like that. And just the tags were uh, from pattern paper. I just fussy cutted them out and put some pop dots on the back to raise them off of the page for a three-dimensional look. All right, and my last project was... Uh, creating some heritage pages. I've done a lot of heritage pages for my dad's side, but not my mom's. And so this is showing my mom's side. My uh, grandparents, uh, mom and pop Lull, they had 10 kids. And so it's kind of an odd shape, but that's the shape of the uh, scrapbook album that they're gonna go into. I used a paper pack so that they would all coordinate. And I finally got to use some brads uh, that were, um, that I had had for a long time, these little dragonflies. And again, using Spellbinder dies, I made the labels. I used an X-Acto knife to cut the frames out, arched up at the top, I had a, uh, script stamp that I wanted to use for the background and the labels are put on top of some glittery black and gold ribbon and these are just uh, self-adhesive flat back pearls on the bottom in black and gold so I'll just run by these real quick because they're pretty much the same uh, style and I just did four pages of those. That's my mom in the middle. And uh, where's the last one? So anyway, had a lot of fun at the retreat and thought you might enjoy seeing what, uh, what I worked on during it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.